Okay, so, um, why did you choose to leave? Or did you have a choice to leave the Philippines? Uh, I didn't have a choice to leave, of course. I had to follow my, my parents took me here. Um, but I'm glad that they came here. Mm-hmm. But I didn't have a choice to leave. I just said, I just followed them. Um, did you, did you at first want to leave? Or were you kind of like, I kind of want to stay? Or uh, Yeah, I didn't want to leave the Philippines, of course, because we didn't know what America was. Um, of course, all our friends and family was in the Philippines. So uh, I don't remember being too sad of a time, but uh, I know it was something uh, new. And of course, we were a little scared, but we we're excited. We we're excited to come. Can you can you expand on uh, like your excitement? Uh, we we're excited as a kid. All we were basically excited was uh, all we knew about America was about chocolates and being cold, and because of the what our cousins from here would say and what they would send us. But that's all. As a kid, that's all you really think about. You don't think about anything big like a job or anything like that. It was more about um, like the like what what you could do as a kid. Mm-hmm. So, um, once. Did you have any ideas of, like, what you were going to do, like, once you landed? Like, did you know what you were going to do next? Uh, when, well, my stepdad had a house here already, so we knew where we were going to live. Uh, and basically there was, school was going to be just down the street. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's like, basically... Like, job or did you not worry about that yet? Of course I didn't worry about having a job. All we were worried about was school. Uh, so no we didn't have to worry about that stuff but my parents did. Uh, my dad had a job already but my mom didn't so but she didn't speak any English at that time yet so she had to do like odds and ends things so. Was there any um, like sacrifices that you had to make or and was there any like um, positive things that you can look at? Uh, well, when we came here, there was five children, so the house that we had um, had three bedrooms and a, uh, one bathroom, so uh, the guys stayed in one room, there was three of us, so, and then the girls stayed in their own room, there was two of them, so for, the, for many years we stayed in one room, the guys stayed in one room together, sharing everything, basically beds and our clothes. We had very minimal things, but uh, we never really uh, thought of it as anything. We had our necessities. So, mm-hmm. once you, once so you say that it had three bedrooms. Like, was it like an upgrade, or like, did you feel like it was a uh, better place? Oh uh, well, in the Philippines, we had a bigger house. I think uh, I remember having my own room with just one brother. Uh, and then my other brother had his own, but other than that, uh, I think it was, it wasn't an upgrade or it wasn't a downgrade, I think we were, uh, that's the only thing I could remember, because also in that house we had people renting, so there were times that we would sleep in there, in the living room, just how, wherever you could fit, so, um, so when you came to America, was was it like how you expected it to be? Uh, the first thing I really remember was getting off the plane and getting out of the airport and it was really cold and we and that was like for some reason that was our main thing like how cold it was going to be and we were so um, uh, we were so I guess amused or surprised how cold it was and um, because in the Philippines it's just hot so, um, yeah, that's basically where it was.